It's been a while since I made a video on this channel. Uh, actually, more than a month or almost two months, I guess. But we're back, man. The reason why I haven't made a video in such a long time is because I got into trouble with the police. Also, uh, my camera is broken. That's why I'm filming currently on my crappy iPhone 12. And the GTI was broken as well. I was also waiting on number plates for the Focus RS, but she is all good now. I can drive the car legally on the road. That's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take out the Focus RS for the first time on this channel i've already driven it for a few times in the last few weeks because she's legal now for a few weeks so yeah i already did a little bit of driving but i noticed that i haven't made a video on my youtube channel um of me driving the focus rs so we're gonna take it out for a spin i'm still in love with this color this car gets so much attention everyone looks at me when i'm driving on the road yeah if you want attention you gotta buy a bright blue ford focus rs because literally everybody is looking at you and if i move to the left i got something special over here it's a little bit hidden under these covers but this is my straight pipe exhaust of my gti you might ask yourself where's the gti it's still here it's uh, behind the door the gti is stock now or at least i put the stock exhaust back on it so it kind of sounds like a vacuum cleaner or like a tesla so when the door is fully opened you can see she's still here luckily and she has been through a lot man in the past time in the past few weeks i don't know if you guys see the difference but the exhaust tips are so small compared to the aftermarket straight pipe that i had you can also see that the whole cat bag box is still there all filters are back on and yeah like i said she's sounding so quiet all right let's do a little cold start then shall we <laughs> that's a little bit different yeah this sounds like shit bro it literally sounds like a tesla so quiet before i couldn't really talk with the straight pipe exhaust and now i can literally talk quiet and you probably still hear me let's give it a couple cold revs the only plus is that you can hear the intake sound uh, but for the rest it's super quiet like i said well let's move her out of the way then yes my parking sensors are still broken as well oh and now you can probably see the oil leak that it had <laughs> look at this spot this spot over here is oil um because the oil pan was broken on that thing i took a uh, jump with the with the gti i can't show you the video unfortunately anymore because i got in trouble with the police for it but yeah as you can see the oil pan was fully broken and all the oil spilled on the driveway it, it is an ugly driveway anyway but yeah <laughs> you can still see the oil mark that yeah that's left there well i should give you guys a little explanation about the situation also the reason why i haven't uploaded like i said as some of you guys know i started the dutch youtube channel i've uploaded already one video on there and after that i made a pov video with my nephew of the gti because he wanted to hear the straight pipe of the gti and i said yeah why not so we took it out for a spin yeah that pov drive got a little bit out of hand uh, like i said i can't show you the video anymore but we basically took a huge jump of two meters high all four wheels loose off the ground and <laughs> yeah it was uh, kind of wild i decided to upload that video on youtube as well on my dutch youtube channel the video that i can't show you anymore and literally within 24 hours the police came to my door and they basically said if you do it again or if you make a pov video like that again we're gonna impound your car you're gonna get a big fine your driving license is getting impounded so yeah that is basically also the reason why i can't make extreme pov videos anymore unfortunately like i used to do also not on this channel because they also said to me that they're gonna watch every little Little video that i post on the internet on instagram uh youtube you name it the police is basically checking everything that i do currently and they're also gonna pull me over more with the gti they said um so i don't know about that so yeah i got in a little bit of trouble if you guys can understand and yeah sorry but i can't make those crazy pov drives anymore unfortunately this also means that i gotta come up with a different concept of my youtube channel I got already something in mind, but like I just said, my camera is broken and I need my camera for that to get the right setup for it. I can only do those POV drives when I'm in a different country. I got also a little bit of plans for that, just to go to another country, do crazy shit over there. And not the country where I currently live, because then uh, the police is gonna impound everything and I lose a lot of money. But enough talking already, I just needed to give you guys an update about it. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna take the Focus RS out for a spin. Well, one thing that I noticed right away 
when I'm driving in focus again, unfortunately, is the driving modes. I got a driving mode error. Um, I can't select any driving mode, so I'm stuck in normal mode. Can't drive it in sport, uh, drift, or track mode. Is. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but it always seems like when the car gets a little bit hot, I can't put it in any driving mode. Because now, for instance, I warmed up the car and it won't go in any driving mode because I've been pushing it only for one time and it's quite sunny weather outside so that means it's quite hot and it always gives the same error when it's warm outside or when the car gets warm so yeah it kind of sucks that i'm stuck in in normal mode unfortunately but it still pops and bangs one other nice feature with warm weather is i can put open the roof a little bit of the side windows shift it a few times back third gear Then it's still a blast. Found a nice back road where I can uh, send it a little bit. Yeah, the pops are a little bit quiet, but it still pops and it normally doesn't do that in normal mode. So I don't know what the f is wrong with this car. I probably need to go to a Ford dealer, but yeah, I don't know about it, man. Gotta say, the cornering is so much fun in this thing. I also can't turn off traction control for some reason. I think it's gotta be uh, with the same sensor issue or anything like that. You can clearly hear the pops. I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera. This car just wants to be driven hard. It just doesn't want to get driven slow for some reason. It just feels way better when you drive it a little bit f faster, when you press the gas a little bit. Yeah, maybe that's a great excuse to the officer that's gonna pull me over in this thing. so much fun to drive this thing with a manual gearbox they never should put a DSG or an automatic gearbox in this Ford Focus RS it just takes all the fun away with this car but I gotta say in the city it's quite annoying to drive because like I said this thing doesn't want to be driven slow and then it just pokes a little bit and it just makes some weird moves sometimes but on the back road but on the back roads this thing is way better than the GTI I gotta say that it's way more fun and it, go, and it all got to do with the manual gearbox and of course the great suspension and all of that and the power but the manual gearbox makes it way more fun and again sorry guys that I can't put my camera in my mouth like I used to do with the POV drives and get you the best angle possible I just don't want to get my car impounded just don't want to lose all that money and yeah it's like not worth it for my YouTube channel how bad it sounds but how annoying it might sound, but yeah, I can't do this anymore in my country. I live like an hour away from Germany and like 45 minutes away from Belgium. So maybe I should take this car over there and do some crazy POV sense. But yeah, I can't make the videos like I used to do in my country, unfortunately. I'm back home again and I want to demonstrate something with the driver modes. Like this is the button of the driver modes and if I push it, I can sort of put it in driver's mode, like this is circuit mode, and then within a few seconds, yes, driving motors are not available. You also get the message over here, but it's like super annoying that it just doesn't want to go in drive modes. And the car is completely fine, it's not overheating or anything, like it's 25 degrees Celsius outside and the oil temp is perfectly fine and everything is perfectly fine the turbo pressure is also fine the oil is also fine like everything is fine but i already read a little bit on the internet and it says that a sensor is just overheating and that i should get a software update to fix it but 
I don't know if that's gonna fix it or not because it just keeps overheating. And they say it gotta do with the exhaust. Because if I go to the back, you see that little valve over there? Nah, you can't see it on camera, but this side of the exhaust is valved. On the internet, it says that that's the problem with the valve, that the sensor is overheating of the exhaust and that that is the thing that gives you the error. I don't know if that's true, but if it's true, I gotta go for a straight pipe on this thing. Well, I'll probably also give a few updates on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. R19Robin on Instagram and also on TikTok. But I'm gonna do a different type of videos than I did today and than I did in the previous years. Uh, with my channel because i kind of have to so that's coming really soon but i first have to fix my camera for that like i told you as well i'm telling you a lot but this video is a little bit of updates because i got a lot of instagram dms telling me where i've been or where i am because i'm not uploading that much on youtube right now so see this as a kind of update video about my life and the channel but there's gonna be way better content in the future trust me but first i have to fix my camera man and that's gonna cost a lot of money as well <laughs> On the screen, I'm on a broke Mac Boy, a daily driver, yeah, that shit's gone fully mad Black, yeah, yeah but that can't you grow my god, that fully got black Shout out to his daddy, think he fresh, but yeah, that shit's whack